Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, Nom 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 Zero Six Nine, returning with another C Sharp GDI Plus graphics tutorials. And last time we do strings, and that was fun. But today we're gonna do something uh, I like to do better. Um, we're going to be drawing pies, or more specifically, sphere-looking objects. So you, there's several different ways you can draw a fill pie and you can just regular draw a pie which will just be like the arc it's it's well we'll do arcs so e dot graphics draw uh draw pie we'll do we'll do draw pie and we will do um pens dot red so it sticks out so draw pie pens dot red um so that it's a nice red color our rectangle um what our rectangle is going to do is make a circle that fits within the rectangle. So say we have like a 50 high by 100 wide, it will f it will draw a circle that is completely enclosed in there that touches uh, the four edges. So we'll just do a new rectangle, um, zero, zero. Um, let's give it a width of 100 and a height of 50. Um, the start angle, um, this is, can be between zero and 360, and your sweep angle can be between zero and 360. So we'll just do zero, um, 360. And now if we run this, we should have a red pie right there. That's 360 degrees wide. Um, we can come in here and make this 100 by 100 instead of 100 by 50. And we should have a perfect circle. There you go. Um, a perfect circle. That you're drawing in the graphics. Now there's, instead of draw pie, what we can do is fill pie. Fill pie, not path. And this ha uh, this takes a brush because brushes are used for fillings. You can do brushes, brushes dot red, um, new rectangle, rectangle um, zero zero uh, one hundred by one hundred. Um, start angle zero three sixty. Then we run it. We're gonna have a filled in red circle, right there. Pretty snazzy. Um, we can start the filled angle in at 100 degrees and finish it up at, uh, say, 225. We'll get, a, like, it almost will look like a pie piece right there. Well, like a chunk was taken out of our pie. Um, so you can fill the pies. And finally, if you want to draw an arc, um, you can come up here, draw arc. And what that's going to do is uh, pens.red. So we can get a nice color to fix out. Um, a new, uh, not a new, whatever that is, new rectangle. Um, zero, zero, 100 by 100. And then we can do the start angle, let's say uh, 50, and the sweep angle, 225. I don't know, I just like the number 225. We run that. We get a red arc. So I think there's also a fill arc uh, function we can do. Is there a fill arc? Nope, there's not a fill arc. You have to use the fill pie for that. But uh, there's pretty much how you draw spherical objects in the CDR, CD, C Sharp GDI Plus graphics. I know I really ran through that tutorial like at a crazy fast rate, but uh, that stuff is really simple. And if you just read the function and it's over, and if you just read the function and you look through the overloads to find the one you specifically want, it's it's really easy. Um, so that's why I went really fast. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.